So I haven't vlogged this weekend because of my work conference and yeah just basically because I wanted to have a little break from having to be in front of the camera all the time. Oh who figures like honestly, like, hmm. break in front of the camera like me? Really? Now I'm just going to vlog today and see what happens so coming at you from the 21st of August. Don't know what's going to come yet but uh I like it that way. I like a good weekend where I haven't got anything planned and I just do what I want to do. When I last did this, it was on comp prep and funnily enough, it was just as freaking freezing as it is now. And I would think, what the fuck, how am I here? Um, it's super early in the morning and yeah, it's super early and you're about to do some really high intensity stuff. So overtaking people on the left lane, yeah. So I made it, I'm here. The location is no longer a secret. I am at Kangaroo Point. And I'm about to run the stairs. It is freezing, it's probably about 12 degrees. Oh, that sun is beautiful. I can't hear a thing, I have my earphones in. So, let's see how many I can do. It's like wheat mix. It's like, how many can you do? Let's go for three. <laughs> and then if I'm an athlete, I'll do seven. Probably look like the biggest dickhead because I went and I ran like one set of stairs. Put the vlogging camera in my fanny pack. Just is going everywhere, so putting it back in my car. I'll see you guys after I run some stairs. uploaded my vlog and it's my favorite vlog yet I'm so excited just have to freaking share that with you guys like when you put something that you work so hard in so many aspects like not just in food in training in behind the scenes in all of that stuff and you put it out there for the world to see it's a freaking awesome feeling like it just feels so good so I've just snapped it I put it on Facebook this is the vlog I am going to spam just gonna spam it everywhere because I love it. But it just feels really good. I just want to share that with you. And one of the key things that I've said, and I've, I've had this feeling all day about it, is just to not wait for anything. If you want something in this life, you can't wait for the permission. You just need to go and fucking grab it. Like, nobody is going to give you something. If you want something, you just freaking got to work on it yourself. And that is something I live by every freaking day day so do it go out there whatever it is you're watching this like if you're thinking in your head I want this but I'm but I can't because I'm waiting on time or I can't because someone told me I can't do it or whatever do you know what when I first started in this fitness journey I had pictures of girls with abs all over my freaking desk and my boss at the time who I love thank you so much for inspiring me every single day by the way but at the time you <laughs> You told me that I couldn't be a fitness model and have a career. And you know what? I've only excelled in my career since I've become more passionate about fitness. So don't ever let tell you, don't ever let someone tell you you can't do something because you can. You can. It's all up to you. We're going to get coffee. Oh my God, I'm so proud. It's good. I'm 
I'm part of it. Oh, she's gonna crash. This is why. Oh my god, I can't even vlog right now. Sorry. This girl. We're gonna get coffee from our favorite place. This is what we do every single weekend. Like, I don't even know how I haven't vlogged about this yet. So. I would just like to give Kettle and Tin a big, a big shout, shout out for fueling our addiction every single every single day. So good, so good. I love this almond milk. <laughs> Jess has a breakfast to go to and she still makes time for kettle and tin almond milk. <laughs> it's fucking better than any coffee I'm ever gonna get for breakfast. <laughs> Pancakes because YOLO. I am really hungry. Time to cook out some lunch, pre-workout. Just gonna keep it simple. You can have some chicken, some rice. Um, I love cooking on weekends because it means it's fresh, not that rice. And then, yeah, so it's fresh, it's delicious, it's tasty. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. So Trying to vlog this one handed. The only loser who weighs her peanut butter is me. Like seriously. Why do I even bother? Because otherwise I just want to lick the whole thing. I don't share, so it's all good. P.S. I bought Smooth and it totally was not on purpose. Like, I don't even know why peanut butter factories even make Smooth peanut butter. I'm writing a letter. 